guys welcome back to Drew tutorial and in today's video i'm going to show you how to fix your front audio jack not working on your windows pc so if you're facing this issue on your computer guys then this is a perfect tutorial for you because i'm going to show you how to fix this issue now there are three things that you can check in order to resolve this issue and i always start with the first one here by simply clicking on your windows icon here on your taskbar and you simply want to type in Realtek and you want to open the Realtek audio console. From here, you want to look to the lower left hand side where you have the device advanced settings, right? So once you click on that, you will be able to see in this section here if it is saying disable front panel jack detection. If you see that, uncheck, go ahead and check that and you want to go ahead and restart your computer. And this is going to be under the section where you have their connector retasting section right so you'll be able to see it under the connector settings section right now if this does not solve the issue after you restart your computer guys then once your computer restarted then you want to go ahead and check as well if you are currently set to the default audio setting so what you want to do guys you want to right click on this speaker on the lower right hand side on your taskbar and you want to go to sound settings from here guys you want to go under the section where it says advanced and you want to click on more sound settings here and from here you want to ensure that if you're currently using like a headphones or external speaker etc then you want to ensure that the correct one is selected and then you want to click default so if it's a headphone you want to click on it and you want to click on default or something like or if it is something else speaker then you want to go ahead and do the same and click on set as default and if you're using like a mic or something, then you can go ahead and you can go to the recording section tab here at the top and you want to select the appropriate one and then you want to go ahead and click set as default, right? Now, if this still does not fix the issue for you, I would suggest go ahead and open up your device manager, guys. So you want to click the Windows key and search for device manager. Once this is open, then you want to go ahead under the section where it says sound, video and game controllers, expand that and you will see you have your high definition audio driver so as you can see mine is showing there as the nvidia high definition audio driver there you want to go ahead and right click on this and you want to run update select search automatically for the driver and it will detect and go ahead and install the latest driver for you right so once you do this guys go ahead and try again to see if the issue is resolved now, if you try this and you're still having issues, you can go ahead and you can try to update it. You can go ahead and search manually here and you will see the option that says, let me pick from the list. And you can go ahead and choose from these options here. So I would start from this one here, then try from this one and also that one. So you go ahead and try the different options here in the list and then go ahead and test again. And that's, that should work, guys. Go ahead and try these and I wish you the best of luck that this issue will be resolved. 